All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Musa, and I'm one of the assistants in this workshop, in this interesting workshop uh, this day. Uh, I will be available until for uh, around 40 minutes um, to prepare for the for the, this workshop. Uh, we will make a, a small demo um, to make sure that all of the attendees have uh, the required uh, let me say the required uh, all the requirements for this workshop uh, will be following the instruction. I believe that all the attendees have received an email for, with the uh, instruction for the installation of uh, the, uh, the software we will use today, which is QGIS 3.10 and also the data. Uh, maybe we can wait for a few minutes until some people come. Okay. Uh, as you know, it was written in the email that we will use our, we will follow the instruction for installing QGIS for Windows. But for people for with the using who using uh, other operating system, they can easily uh, just if they have any problems or issues during uh, downloading uh, the software, they just we will be, be available to uh, answer any uh, appearing uh, problems. Okay. I will start. So well, I believe that everyone should access or should be able to access this uh, PDF maybe from the emails you already received for the webinar or maybe from the uh, LinkedIn, the event on LinkedIn. So this instruction, as you see here, for Windows operating system, I'll be following them step by step. Uh, later, if you have, if uh, please, if you have any issues during the installation, just let me know on the comments. All right, we can start. Okay, no person. All right. So um as you see here, create your personal account on this this the first step is not obligatory we can just pass over it we will start from here download standalone qgis version 3.9 okay i believe there is another there is updated let me see okay mm -hmm. okay uh, basically, uh, there will be uh, there was a, an updated version of this PDF, so uh, you can just uh, click on the link and you you'll be directed. Uh, the download will start directly. Otherwise, for people who were not able to reach the updated version, they can just start from here. All right, we can go. We will not use this version. Please, um, it, it's it's suggested to use the version which is appeared here in the pdf um i'm not saying that the, the other versions or the new ones will not work but this uh, i prefer to, for you to use this one because the instructions and the presentation made or was created using this version so it's better just to be let me say compatible with the slides so we will be downloading the version of 3.10 it's an old version. Uh, you can reach it from here. Please step over this page. We will be downloading it from here. All right. Basically, you can use this on your operating system, but I can access everything from here.
here I have the 3.9 version, 3.10, sorry. I mean, you can download any of them, but it's preferable, preferable to reach to this one since it's the most, let me say, the most stable one. They are all the same. They are all 3.10, but this is the most stable. So it's it's I prefer for you to to get it. Uh, otherwise, you can you can you can choose anyone. All right. I'll be with for some time until especially for people who were not able to download the software five minutes As I said, since you all have this PDF version, you can reach it from here, or you can just click directly on the second, the link into the second page. You, the, your download will be started, started directly. So <clears throat> you have many options here. Easy by this. I believe nobody has doubts so far, but <clears throat> in case you have anything, just let me know. Okay. Unfortunately, I downloaded. Okay. <clears throat> Ahmed saying, hi, unfortunately, I downloaded 3.18. Uh, look, Ahmed, um, as I said, it's just suggested. I mean, uh, if you check the slides, maybe you will have, you will find some, I don't know, some different steps, some different instructions. Uh, I'm not saying it's not going to work. Probably everything will be fine, but I just, it's more suggested to follow this since this is the one where, which was used since uh, by, during created the slide. So I, I believe everything will be fine, but it's just the, the suggested one for this social. We will we'll, we'll come to the Python script and uh, once we finish the downloading of the, this, uh, the software, don't worry. So everything is fine. I can go on with the installation. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. We have another question I had an installation I kind of learned on my computer already and now only for a few days. Somehow it doesn't seem to find my field on Anaconda and for random and for works fine, but not important. My Anaconda promise to all for fine, but not to do yet. Uh, this question from Cornelia. Um, we will now I will give you some instruction to make sure that you have six, uh, the, this library in your uh, in QGIS. Uh, probably, yeah, sometimes. Uh, since already most of you have uh, this library using in Python and in, and uh, in, in any other environment Anaconda, uh, so you it may be already available in your uh, PCs. So don't worry, this it will work. We, you just need uh, to import it to QGIS. But we will have some uh, let me say some uh, commands to make sure that everything is fine with respect to this library. So don't worry. So far uh, we will come through uh, to this in a few uh, minutes. Okay, we will move on. 
after downloading, after finishing the downloading for UDIS, you will have this one, just one of them. I uh, just have two, two versions, but we will we will start with this one, or we'll, we will actually install the 3.7 version. It's the same for everybody, but just since I have uh, I already have this um, version on my PC, I will I will just follow the instructions for the other one. But they are all the same. So for Windows people, just pass uh, over those. Uh, let me say security stuff. Okay. You should all have this screen here. Okay. Nothing fancy, you just move on. All right. Here we have, let me say a main point because it more it's preferable not to change the default path uh, for the installation for this software because you may let me say face some bugs during the installation process so it's just keep the default path in case you have uh, the proper uh, uh, storage to download it All right, so try your best not to change the default path. Let's go. Um, you don't need those ones. Probably those are for learning purposes, uh, for some tutorials, but you, we will not need them in our workshop. Just move on. We already have our data set installed. OK. This will take some time. In case of any bugs or any problems, please let me know. Uh, I also have to remind you, please, for people who so far didn't start with downloading the data, please start with it as soon as possible since the data is so huge. It's around 5.6 to 6 gigabytes. So um, in case you want to follow properly the presentation, please start with it as once we finish uh, the installation of the QGIS. I also have my colleagues in the chat, so please, if you have any any problems, any doubts, just put it in the Q and A, and my colleagues will be answering those questions. Okay, I'm about to finish. Also, for people who already emailed us because they have some problems in reaching the data. Uh, for people from countries who do not, uh, who can't somehow access the Google Drive or Google uh, services, we have also now two uh, other options. So basically, we have three options for downloading data, especially for people who try to access the data and they have some problems because of the pressure uh, on the server. So uh, we will providing those uh, that third option now. Uh, okay. 
will almost there. So I believe you should start finishing. I mean, depends for sure an operating system, but I'm almost there for me. All right, you should receive this screen. Once you finish, please let me know if someone has any problems so far. Please, if anyone has any problems with respect, especially to the Python, which is uh, most of you have this problem in this part, there when uh, in the part of the library. Please just put it in the Q&A and my colleagues will answer those questions. Okay, I will go on. Uh, okay, so now we will have the file. Will we basically start Let me put the other version to be consistent. Okay. So now you have to head uh, to the path where you save or install the software. You should have since the, so, uh, the installation was properly completed, you should have all the files. Any problems so far? Okay, nothing. All right. Okay, so now we will start with the, uh, everything is fine with the, the, for the software, for the soft version. Uh, now we will start with the library stuff. Okay. Okay, we go back here. All right. Okay. So now, basically, what we will do. Please open this PDF during this, this step, especially because we will need now to copy some commands from this file and paste it in the, uh, in the prompt. Okay, I'll move on. Now we have to run this file as an administrator. You should all have the CMD screen here. Okay, now what we will do, we will go back to the PDF. We will start from step four. We will copy this command. Please make sure not to copy anything else with the command. So everything was fine. For people who's not familiar dealing with the command, just once you copy it, just press right click on the mouse and to be copied, to be pasted. 
now enter to run the command. You should all have this method. Is it fine for the first command? Okay, someone is saying that you only have the version with just one page. I believe it's already updated on the LinkedIn. I'm not sure where did you access the, this the PDF, but you can now, you can find it on, um, I'll put the link on the chat, but you still can find it on LinkedIn, amen. Uh, okay, or other time, okay. Okay, I, I will copy also the, the comment in the chat, okay. No problem. Uh, yeah. All right, so, but nothing is, by the way, there is no difference between the two PDFs with respect to the uh, library installation. The, the, just, the only difference was just to make it easier for you to reach this version. Otherwise, you have to go to the other releases and look and search for the 3.10 uh, version of QGIS. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's all the same. So also the commands, they are all the same in the two different PDF files, but I also, for convenience, I'll be paste, uh, copying uh, and pasting the link in the, uh, the comments in the chat. No problem. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I believe now you all can reach it. Once you paste it, you should all have this response from the CMD. Let me know if everything is okay. So can we move on to the second step? Okay, now. Now we will go to step number five. I believe it's the most controversial one. Um, we will copy basically this command here, this line. Okay. And paste it in the also screen, CMD. Press enter. Okay, now please let me know what you have, what response you, you have on your team. Okay. You also can find those commands on the chat. Here you have on the chat, the commands for Windows, the commands for Linux. Okay, for Linux, for Windows. All right. So basically, as you can see here, there's the note. If the, it didn't work, the first one, the command, the first line, you can try the second one. It's basically just the same, but without having this part here. So you can copy it and paste it here. Okay, now you should have probably two responses for them from the CMD. The first one is, let me say the basic one. We already had, had those lines here, but with respect to this one, we didn't have the successful installed, um, uh, let me say response. So if you got this one, everything is okay. But in case you have this method here, also everything is okay. This is warning something related to the pip commands. You don't have to worry about it. Now we will make sure that everything is okay with respect to the library once we try to import it in the console in QDIS. But don't worry about it, please. Just make sure that it's not an error method. If it's warning, it's okay. It's something related to the CMD. But if, it's an, if it is an error message, just let me know what response you have 
Okay. Uh, I have some messages from people. Okay. If it's about, as I said, if it's about the, the warning, this warning, it's something related to the pip command, so you don't have to worry. But yeah, if it's some, if it's an error, please let me know. Okay, so I believe most of the problem here, something related to that. Warning, you are using pip version. Please, those commands with respect to the pip uh, uh, warning, you don't have to worry about it. It, it doesn't affect the installation process. And now we will make sure that everything is okay. Uh, as I said, when we opened, when we opened the console in the QDIS, the one with the yellow letters, don't worry about it. The two line, two yellow lines, don't worry about it. Also, you'd have to run fast for sure. We also, we already did it. RC, we already did it. I'm gonna do it again just for people who missed something. Okay. Go back here. I said this file here, Windows batch file, please make sure that you're you are using or you're opening this and running this format, run as an administrator. Okay, you'll have the CMD screen. We go to the PDF file. You already have, uh, uh, we will, you already have on your email, but for people who didn't catch it, you can find it on the, uh, on the chat. Okay, we copy the first command. Step number four, you go back to CMD. We run it. We have this response here. This should be the same for everyone. The cofflet is just in the second CMD command. Okay, if this was okay, we go back to step number four. We run one of those. If the first works, everything's okay. If it didn't, you have to go to the second one and paste it. Just so run it again. Requirements already satisfied, and you have this warning here. Don't worry about it. Just please worry about the error. If anyone has an error, please let me know. Warning again, okay, Ratnish, I got the warning. It's okay for the warning, don't worry, Ratnish. Yeah, no, no problems in the yellow message, Fernando. Okay, so I can see that there are many comments about the data. Uh, you can also find, as I said before, you can also find, you already have the, the two options for downloading data, the one on Google Drive and the one to, to the other website for people who are not able to reach the, uh, to access the Google Drive. And there's also a third one for the Google Drive. Um, this is, uh, we also provide this one because there are, there were some, let me say, uh, high demand on the first uh, Google Drive uh, repository, so we already provided another one. You can find it uh, in the chat. I'll paste it again. Okay. We have another here. Okay, you can find it everywhere in the chat. Link for the data. Please start as soon as possible since it's gonna take a lot of time. It's around six gigabytes, so please 
make make sure to do it now. Connecting to library or the data set we're downloading. I mean, this session, uh, Ahmed, this session is just a demo for making sure that uh, you have the required, uh, let me say, uh, software and somehow the libraries and the data on your PC. Uh, the main uh, workshop will start in some more or less 30 minutes. So this is just a preparation for uh, for this workshop. So we're not it's just about uh, in, in making or fulfilling fulfillment all the requirements for the workshop. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, I'm getting like that above mentioned. Which what do you mean? Sorry, Vignesh. What do you mean by the above mentioned? If it was about the yellow uh, message, don't worry about. It. Just move on. Okay, so I believe we can move on. Shows downloading. We should use to be 3.10. Okay. Uh, as I said, the suggested one is 3.10, just to be compatible with the instructions in the slide. But in case you have another one, it's going to work. Uh, but maybe you will find some, I don't know, different uh, with something with respect to the interface, with respect to some instructions between the slides and the, the version you already have. So if you have time, it's I prefer for, uh, if you can download the, the 3.10. It doesn't, it depends for sure on your internet connection speed. So yeah, otherwise, no, there would be no problem. It's just about suggestions. Okay. Okay. Uh, we move on. Now we have nothing here. As you see in the PDF file. Here, as I said, you have the two links for downloading the data. Please do it as soon as possible. And in case you have some problems, because of the high demand on Google Drive, you can find another option on, uh, in the chat. It's also a Google Drive. So if you have uh, any problem with accessing Google Drive, then go for it. It's the same. Just go for the second link here. Here, Zenodo, for people who have problem with accessing Google Drive or uh, Google, access, uh, Google uh, services in general. As I said, it's it weighs 6.2 gigabytes, so it's huge. So please go for it now. Okay, uh, now we can run the software. Okay, so basically uh, you should have two versions, let me say, one with the grass library and one without it, maybe custom widgets. Okay, uh, we will go with the uh, with the grass, uh, the one with the grass version with the grass library. So everything is fine with respect to the downloading. Please, in case any problem, just post it in the Q and A, and my colleagues will go for it. This may take some time, depends on your operating system. So now after running the software, you should all have this screen here. This is the main interface for QGIS. 
we just have one step to go, which is to make sure that the library is working properly and we, we can it's imported and we can use it in our classification and the work workshop. Okay. So what we will do now, as shown here, Okay, now the first step, we'll press on the this Python symbol to open the console here. And from this point, we will make sure that the library was successful, successfully installed on our, uh, on our in our uh, QGIS uh, software. Okay, so what we will do is just to run this command here import cclearn and in case you have no problem no no error was shown in your uh, in your stream it's okay so other even if you have if you had this uh, yellow error yellow warning method during the installation it's okay otherwise if you have any errors errors not warnings please may distinguish between them uh, we have you have to do something please let me know in this case Okay, so we will run this command in the console and press enter. Since we have no errors, for example, I don't know. Um, Please make sure that you don't have this kind of messages here. But in case, as I show you here, if you run this command and everything was fine, you just have the same command out there. So now we can say that, yeah, you have everything everything required for the workshop okay any other questions i have okay here i have a question rc i have the re the read message the read message in python okay i have a read message in python uh, please rc please post uh, the error you had Okay, I will say it's nothing, nothing fancy for the fact of the command. It's just an import command. Okay. Just copy this and paste it in your console. And if it was successfully installed, you, you will have no any error message. Otherwise, you have to tell me, please. Sorry, Henry, please can I get the support set up? Which, sorry, which, which, what do you mean by the variable? Something related to the desktop or after here, after having the interface here? Please, in case of any errors, as I said, please put it, paste it on the Q&A. So again, for people, okay, okay. What we did after installing the library, after running all the commands on CMD, we just having this. We just have this interface here. We open the interface. We press, uh, we pressed on the Python console symbol. We have this screen here, this console here. We just run. this code here, this import command. 
and we press enter to make sure that everything is okay with respect to this library. Okay. For people who, who are using different operating system, you can find all the commands with respect to downloading this uh, uh, this library on the on the chat. And also, everything is available on on the PDF here as you see. Linux and those for Windows. Yeah, please. This is a good point from Juan. Uh, please make sure that to open uh, the CMD and to run those commands here inside inside the file, uh, the file which you uh, with respect to the file you choose to uh, during the installation process. We're gonna run this one as this file as administrator, and then. Make sure that you have okay. See Windows, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Do it here, please. Don't go for the CMD here and run it here. No. <clears throat> Don't do it here. Please do it on the same file in this file exactly. OSG or four W does that. So everything's fine. Ratnesh, error while import plan. Please, Ratnesh, post your uh, the error message you have in in the Q and A. When the can you please when the explain what do you mean i mean i, I said uh, we have to run the cmd here run as administrator not not through not don't go for the search and look for the cmd and then run the commands we have to do it here please Okay, I have a problem here with respect to the Windows 32 application. Okay, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Also, please, how we open PDF because the yeah, main gun. No, for people, uh, for I mean, you it depends on your operating system, but basically, you will find it in the recently added softwares. Uh, you uh, no, normally you will have no um, shortcut on your desktop. So just go go if you have if you are following since you are following my instructions in Windows and you will have here just go for one of them please go for the one with the Grass library and it will open don't you will have nothing here to do with the with respect to the files here. Important six. I missed what we read. All right. Uh, okay. So now, if you have the screen here, if you have this message here, I believe everything is okay and you can start with the workshop without any problem. Yeah, I don't have five from. Okay, I have some messages that people don't have the Python console here. Please, if you, in case you don't have it, please just try to click on the toolbar 
and look for the Python console panel here and click it. Sorry, when did you start? In 15 minutes, Hassan. This is, as I said, this is just a demo for making sure that everything is okay with respect to the, uh, the software. Exactly, for people who's having any, any problems in the, in the library, in the thick library, it's okay because this basically this library will be used for the second part of the workshop today there will be nothing about it so basically it will not be used in this workshop so you'll have proper time to uh, repair any uh, possible errors uh, in in, in the installation of this library on QGIS so yeah you have nothing to do uh, with this library now so you'll miss, miss uh, you will not miss anything today even if you don't uh, if you didn't manage to download it uh, on QGIS. I'm um, sorry to ask where are the workshop files. Okay, uh, I believe you are asking uh, for the data. Um, in case for sure you have received both this email, you will find everything respected, uh, everything with respect to the files and the data in the PDF. Here you have two links. And as I said, in case you you have any problems downloading the data because of the high demand, you uh, we already, my colleagues put here an additional, a third, actually third uh, option for uh, uh, downloading data in uh, using uh, by accessing Google Drive. I didn't find by uh, Hassan. Okay, for me, for me, version 3.18. As I said, the suggested one was 3.10, but in case you have, you are using any other version, it will be fine. I will look again. Thank you very much. Okay, um, I believe I, I can paste the link here. Okay. Let me use the other one since there is high demand on the Google Drive. Okay. William, here you can reach the data for the workshop. But please do it now since it needs a lot of time. Yeah, sure, it will work normally. It thinks will we get the recorded session? Yeah, for sure. The session of the workshop will be recorded. Yeah, Hassan, you will have no problems even if you have the other version. PDF can can you have the PDF file? Uh, I believe uh, you are received an email with those. Uh, files with the PDF file and, and the other the additional instruction, but here we can post it somewhere. Let me check. I could not access the data drive folder. Maybe we, this is because of the high demand and the data on this um, Google Drive uh, repository. But uh, we have we all we already I just put here. You can go for it here now. Here we have another. Uh, another resource for the data, and also there's another one. My colleague just posted in the Q and A. You can go for it. It's also a Google Drive repository, but you can also go for this one. Um, please, in case you have uh, any problem, please check the Q&A because most of the, now most of the questions are already redundant. So 
uh, they are common problems actually so you don't need to, to ask a question and my colleagues already answered those doubts so just if you have any problem just check the Q&A and you will have uh, the answer for your question there. Here you have also the third link for the data in case you would like to use the, and access the Google Drive visit to you. Yeah, sure, half year. The workshop will be, the workshop session, once it starts, it will be recorded and free. Okay, so I believe everything is fine with respect to the installation process. Any other doubts? So I I say this again. Uh, for people who who are having any problems with respect to the, the to this library, just pass over it now. You will have no problem this uh, for the first part because you will uh, we will not use the this part library for the, the first first part of the work uh, work session. So we can we still have uh, enough time to fix everything uh, for today. Uh, this library will not be used. Okay. Okay, so in two minutes, we will close this demo session and we will be prepared and be ready for starting the main workshop today. And please, if you have any questions, just go for the Q&A. If you don't have the answer for your question, just post the question there and my colleagues will go for it. Okay, so just to, con to conclude, you have three links to access the data and you still have some time to go for it. It's almost it's so huge, but you still can go for it. Uh, also with respect to the library, don't worry about it. We are not going to use it uh, this uh, today for this part. So you, you, will, you will have enough time to recover later and uh, download it uh, properly. Okay.